So this is the Hay Bike Brawn. And yes, uh, Hay Bike is sponsoring this video. Hey puppy, how's it going? Um, but yes, Hay Bike is sponsoring this video. And yes, they sent me this bike for free. And yes, I really wanted another fat tire e-bike and that's why I'm doing this video. Uh, but just because they're sponsoring this video, does not mean they're gonna be happy about this video. And I kind of feel like that's gonna be the case on this one. So uh, let's get into it, check this thing out and see why that might be. Full throttle, we'll see what we got. We are 27 miles an hour. That's where she seems to top out at. Oh, got cars. Moving over. Hello. How's it going? Okay, so the first thing about this bike that you can probably see is I'm really cramped on here. Um, I'm six foot four. This bike is definitely not for a six foot four person. I think the size range on their website says, uh, hey, look, a Jeep. Uh, I think the size range on their website says like five four to six eight or something ridiculous like that. But um, just know if you're six foot four, you're gonna be very cramped. Now, funny thing is, this bike is a 26 inch frame uh, according to the manufacturer and my other e-bike is also a 26 inch frame and sitting on them feels like a world of difference so uh, yeah just know it's small now also as you could probably see from up there uh, the handlebars are very narrow which i guess if you're trying to crash through some trees and brush good but uh, on my other bike they're much wider and that's uh feels much more stable and better for me being a taller person. So let's talk about the, the control station here and what you got going on. I do really like the screen in the middle. It is um, much bigger than my other one and uh, right in the center where it's easy to just glance down and take a look at it and see what you got going on. So I do like that. Unfortunately, uh, that's about all I like about how this is laid out. Um, the biggest issue is, let me stop to show you right here. So I have decent sized hands, not like clown status, but good sized hands. And if you look over here, my hand is off the edge of the grip. And here, this dumb little lever is jamming the side of my thumb and it's sharp on the end right there. And it hurts and it makes it very uncomfortable. Now what that lever is for is you push that lever and the seat goes up. I do not understand this at all. So you push that in and you push the seat back down. I guess it's for when you're riding the bike, you can push this and sit up and down on the seat and change the height for different conditions or something like that. I don't know. I, I want just the little lever right here. You set it and forget it. Now, why I have such a big issue with this, aside from the fact that it really hurts your thumb and I would have to hold this thing like way off the end to not be hitting it, is this is right here so nice and easy to just like do on the fly, no problem. Even though it's something you will hardly ever, ever need. But then the shifter over here is something that is very awkward to get to. Look, if you're holding, look at from here to here, I'm holding kind of on the same position on both sides. This is jamming my thumb, same position. I can't reach the shifter. I have to move my whole hand over to reach the up shifter and the down shifter, you have to like almost let go and bring your hand up here to work the down shifter around. This, why is this way over here, totally out of the way when it's something you would need far more than this? Put this thing like up in a weird, awkward spot and make this like handy. I'm also not a huge fan of thumb throttles. That could just be because I'm a motorcycle guy, not a bicycle guy. I don't know, but um, I would much prefer the twist throttle like my other one has. And this is this is kind of touchy, but yeah, the this, this shifter's very awkward to get to. Luckily, it's an e-bike and I'm super lazy, so I'm never gonna pedal anyway, so I don't need to shift. Um, so yeah. Now, good thing about the control station is that the brakes are really good. This thing actually has, um, Hydraulic brakes, front and rear, they work really well. And I can um, I can lock up the tire no problem with one finger on there. And uh, the, the brakes are really good on this one. But I don't like, I have to hold my hand like awkwardly 
you know, you can see like off the end over here to not jam into this. And then if you hold this one similar so that your hands are, you know, like even, you can't reach the controls you actually need. Now it does have adjustable forks, which is uh, good. I'm not uh, too keen on the adjustments of it, um, but it's nice that it has it for those who are. Now, being a motorcycle guy, um, I recognize this triple tree setup from a motorcycle. This is the same type of setup. Bar mounts up here, upper clamp, lower clamp, fork tubes go all the way through. On a bicycle, the issue with this is it limits your steering to like a little over 45 degrees probably because this hits there. Now, the other one just has a single stem that goes all the way through the neck and the clamps are all down below and you can turn the bars as far as you want until the cables bind up and the lights hit and stuff. Where, where that is a problem isn't exactly that situation right there where you're slow picking your way through stuff and you need to turn sharp and get out of something. On this bike, you're very limited in how sharp you can turn and get out of something. Whereas the other one, you can 90 degree the bars and try to do something crazy if you have to. Um, I could totally go off that, but then I'd hit the fence, so. I probably shouldn't, but I don't have reverse, so also. Hmm. Be smart and walk it. There we go. Ow. So, off we go. So, yeah, I, I don't like that this is so limited in the steering. Now, granted, out on like the trails we have in the desert and cruising around the campground or anything like that, um, never, ever, ever be an issue. It's just when you're doing like more technical, like tight in the rocks, slow speed stuff. So for like your normal riding, that would not be a problem. But in here, doing this, yeah, it can cause you to, to end up having to step off or hop over the bars when you can't turn out of something. Ooh, that was a little risky. I didn't see that rock there. So this is a big reason I bought the dump trailer and wanted one. Um, the people we bought this property from, they had places like this all over where they dumped like old horse manure and it's got all the baling twine and all that stuff in it. And it's just kind of back here and out of the way and it looks like absolute crap. And I want to get rid of it. So now I can load it in my dump trailer and haul it all off. So that'll be nice. I wonder why there's a pile of dirt here. Who knows? Now, speaking of the shifter that you can't even reach while you're holding onto the handlebars, um, it's probably a low quality one. I don't really know stuff about bikes as much as like motorcycles, ATV stuff, but um, it's not very positive, like with each gear, like it shifts, but it doesn't feel like a positive click to the next gear, like for certain. And I had to do quite a bit of finagling and adjusting of the cables to even get it to that point where at first it wouldn't even shift uh, through all the gears. Oh, those are septic tank lids. Don't uh, ride over those. But um, it wouldn't even shift through all the gears because it was so far out of adjustment. I think you couldn't get all the way into the highest gear. It was stopping before that.
This is where I would really prefer a twist throttle because it's not a... Uh, see, there's another issue. Because if you look, let me stop and look at that bolt on your thumb right there. I mean, you could adjust this back to where it bottoms out before your thumb hits that bolt, but you see it's already rubbing pretty raw there from it. But if you adjust this back, now this starts out up here and you have to start up here to push. Just, I'm not a fan of this. Everything other than this in this whole setup, I'm, I'm not a fan. Now the good news on this bike is that the, the quality of the build seems to be really good as far as the actual construction of the bike itself. Like it's all aluminum frame and if I show you here, the, uh, all the welds are really nice. Everything seems put together well. Here's your little hydraulic brakes, hydraulic disc. Um, it's, it's built well. Like I said, the quality of these forks, I don't know. The shifter, I'm sure, is a lower quality shifter, just by it doesn't feel very positive and solid. But it, it works after you adjust it. I'm not a fan of the big headlight. Where's the button, yeah. It's very big and it doesn't put out any more light really than a small little LED one that could go here and still allow me to put a basket on that would carry my snacks. And uh, snacks, more important than light. So, I mean, I like the look of it. It looks good, I like the color. You get it, it's like a black gray color scheme or this color scheme. Both look really good, um, but this is kind of like big and bulky on the front that I'm not a super fan of. I mean, I'm sure you could change it, but this is how it is. Oh, and it comes with a water bottle holder, which is nice. Like I said, I do like the look of it. It looks good. It's got the machined sprocket, all that up front. It's a 48 tooth front sprocket and a seven speed uh, gears in the back. 26 inch tire, 24, 24 inch tires, something. So it's a well put together bike that does look good. It's just everything in this area needs some, some thought put into how it's laid out because this setup is just, it's no good. And as far as the size part of it, I am above your average size and height and such. So it makes sense that, oh, there's a handy thing um, about the narrow handlebars. I didn't have to open the gate anymore. But if you're a, a smaller person or a normal sized person, uh, the size of this thing probably just fine. Just for me being extra tall, it's uh, it's really cramped. So, Ooh, rocks. Oh, might have screwed myself. Oh, see right there. I didn't have enough steering to get out of that. Probably could have went that way, but then I fell over. So on my other bike, I bet I would have been able to crank that hard enough to get around that rock. Okay, is this a berm shot? Nope, that's a fence, but we can make it like a berm. So, I'm gonna go up here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, oh, hung up in the trees. We got it. Woo! I think this video is gonna be like 10% information about the bike and 90% me heavy breathing in this microphone. Okay, narrow bars handy right there. But uh, I just prefer wider, it's being my size. So now in all reality, the reason uh, I wanted another e-bike and even agreed to do another e-bike video is I wanted another fat tire e-bike for my wife so that my wife, my daughter and I could all go out together Enjoy all the trails in the desert around our house. Not like banging through the rocks like this, like there's actual like trails. Um, but it could be, all of us could go together instead of just one of us. So in that purpose, this bike is probably actually, ooh, yeah, there goes that shifter <laughs> banging on the rocks. This bike is actually probably gonna be a really good fit for my wife, being as she's much smaller than me, has much smaller hands and would fit this thing a whole lot better than I will. Now, I'm sure 
we go like this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you, kind of, well, some of you, I don't know how many people are even interested in this, but uh, some of you would like a review comparison between this e-bike and my other one. And a major red flag I had kind of when talking with Hay Bike about this is one of their requirements was, oh, whoa, that didn't go to plan. Um, one of their requirements was I could not show or talk about another e-bike in this video, only theirs. That was a major red flag to me because I'm like, why are you scared of a little competition? Um, if you're confident in your product, you should welcome a comparison, but they forbid it in our whole deal. So I will not be able to do a comparison video right now. The little flaw in their plan though was they never said I couldn't ever, just in this video. So this video is purely about this bike. Ooh, and later on someday, Hopefully not soon, because hopefully the snow comes back and this dry spell goes away and I get back to snow recoveries in the track Jeep, because I really miss those right now. But hopefully once all that's all over in the spring or summertime, we can revisit this whole thing and we can compare the two bikes. So for now, this is kind of my review and initial thoughts of the Hay Bike Braun Fat Tire E-Bike. And of course, there will be a link to uh, Hay Bike in the description below, along with an affiliate link, um, or it will be an affiliate link, I believe. And you can go to their website and uh, check out this bike, all the other ones they got, they got a bunch of different styles, and see if any of them you like. Like I said, if, if you're a six foot four person or anyone over six feet, this bike here is probably not the one for you. So just keep that in mind. The construction quality of the physical bike is actually pretty good, like really good. It's just the layout of all this is just a mess. Like it doesn't make sense. So I'm sure that's something that's easily fixed if you really wanted to dig into it. And I'm sure I could, I probably will, so that my wife has a much more comfortable setup here. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little video of me just messing around around my property. Uh oh, dang trash. Let's clean that up. It gets so windy here out in the desert that uh, trash blows from who knows how far away around here. And if you have places that have a lot of stuff out and about, um, it can end up on your property. Now, I'm not talking any kind of smack on anyone because Sometimes stuff blown over onto our property. Sometimes uh, the whole roof of that shed right there might blow over onto someone else's property and wipe out uh, what they got over there. So yeah, no room to talk here, but uh, it gets windy is all I'm saying. Now, I am gonna wrap this video up here. We will put a lot more time on this bike. I'll have my wife ride it quite a bit uh, once the weather warms up some and it's good bike riding weather. And we will definitely see it again alongside my other e-bike that they said I couldn't show and I couldn't talk about and I'm holding to my word and not showing or talking about this time. <laughs>